pregnant woman on her way to the hospital, struck by lightning, before she died, gave birth to a strange baby, the baby was white all over, not a single hair, the father looked at him, as if he was looking at a monster, oh, my son. as if he understood the father's words, the child cried louder and louder, the doctor took a look, his EEG, it was so dense, it covered the whole page, this means that, he was born, he had brain power beyond that of ordinary people, the father could not accept the strange baby, abandoned him, the boy was adopted by his grandfather, because of his strange appearance, he was locked up in the basement, he was locked up for 18 years, 18 years later, grandfather died, a sheriff brought the director of the orphanage, came to the house, trying to help him, they heard that the boy had been locked up for 18 years, never had any contact, with the outside world, he might have become a savage, it's better to be careful, the two men opened the door to the basement, they tried cautiously, but when they got down there, they found the place clean and tidy, it wasn't as bad as rumors had it, the boy was cowering in a dark corner, the director reached out his hand, he was encouraged by a gentle voice, come on, nobody's gonna hurt you, it's alright, give me your hand, the boy came out of the darkness, the two men were dumbfounded, for his complexion was pure white, pink eyes, without a hair on his head, the boy said his name was Reed, never been to school, but the woman noticed, Reed spoke elegantly and fluently, he didn't look uneducated, she saw the bookshelf by the wall, she picked up a book of esoteric literature, she asked him if you liked it too, Reed didn't answer, instead, he asked her to turn a page, Make a page, 216, then, Reed recited the contents of that page, from beginning to end, the dean of women was shocked, Reed said, all the books here, he could recite them all backwards, the woman looked around, there were four bookshelves in the basement, there were thousands of books on them, she finally realized, this special boy in front of her, was a genius, but no one knew it, superior intellect, was just one of Reed's abilities, the two men took Reed out of here, it's the first time he's been out of the house in 18 years, as he approached the crowd, something strange happened, all the police cars suddenly sounded their sirens, there was also a strange sound coming from the intercom, what was even stranger, a police officer noticed, the roof of this house, surprisingly installed a row of lightning rods, and according to the forensic examination, although grandpa died of natural causes, but on his body, but there were traces of electric shock, are you telling me the kid electrocuted the old man, the matron took Reed to the orphanage, as soon as he stepped out of the car, he got the attention of the crowd, what the hell is that, was a group of homeless boys, they had bad personalities, they were gangsters, bullying the weak, as you can imagine, the special looking Reed, how he would be treated, everyone, looked at him with curiosity, like a monster, finally, a bully tries to come over and bully him.